Okay, um, reviewing uh, stuff that we have already talked about, but bears emphasizing, uh, in regard to law enforcement. Um, in terms of an investigation, uh, particularly in regard to high tech, um, you've got to think uh, how how competent um, does let me not put it that way how how much resource uh, law enforcement in your area has uh, now if you're in a, a larger center uh, yes um, the uh, police may have uh, some specialized uh, personnel uh, with regard to uh, information technology and uh, may be able to do certain aspects of forensics. Uh, certainly, they would be able to, uh, if they so choose, manage an investigation and call upon um, uh, specialists, uh, forensics experts, um, uh, companies uh, that do that kind of service, and... Uh, do uh, an investigation uh, if they so choose um, all kinds of factors come into this do they have the resources uh, do they have the financial resources do they have uh, the time in their busy schedule of other uh, things um, do they have uh, uh, an interest in it uh, for various and sundry reasons uh, you know there are all kinds of things that uh, may uh, make it likely that when you report some kind of computer intrusion to them uh, you know they give you a case number and say thanks you know if we ever find anything out we'll let you know um, now uh, and, and this is not just limited to small towns. This is um, the, uh, the FBI. Uh, I can remember over the years that I have been uh, teaching, over the decades that I've been teaching this, uh, the FBI has um, had an interest. The interest has waxed and waned. Um, and so, you know, in the United States, people would go to the FBI and... Um, the FBI would say, well, how much uh, is missing? How much have they stolen? How, you know, how big uh, is this? And uh, over that period of time, it's been difficult to get an answer out of the FBI. Okay, you know, how much do you need to take an interest? You know, is it 50,000? Is it a quarter of a million? Is it a couple of million? You know, what is it? And uh, as I say, you know, we don't have an answer. Um, so... Uh, how much public interest is there, how much um, uh, damage, theft, uh, missing um, in regard to, uh, uh, you know, total loss. Um, a number of, of factors. Uh, and this is just as much for, you know, large uh, entity such as the FBI has for any small town uh, police department. So um, you may not get the response that you hope for uh, when you go to law enforcement. Um, even if they take an issue, in, an interest, sorry, um, they, uh, well, yeah, come back to competence how you know how much training does somebody have um and uh you know forensics is is not just a specialty a number of specialties and we've talked about the different uh specialties all of which may be factors in investigating a single incident so um lots of resources there um as I say, you know, in terms of the company, the company senior management should, in advance, decide how much of an interest are we going to take if we get hit. 
Um, you know, are we going to investigate or are we just going to eat the loss? Uh, are we going to uh, simply learn what we can in terms of securing our own systems and forget whoever is doing this? Uh, and, you know, that is, that is the reality. So, um, you know, do not be surprised if that's the case. Now, the other factor that can be involved here is when uh, and if the police do take an interest, your case is now their case. And if it is their case, you are required to cooperate with the police and go places you may not have wanted to go to. And, and again, uh, you know, this should be part of the policy with regard to senior management. You know, do we report it to the police or do we just forget it? And it, yeah, uh, it may seem strange, but it should be decided in advance when nothing has happened rather than when everybody is in a panic. So, uh, you want to be prepared for this. You, you want to have the policy prepared for it. You want to have your response prepared for it. You have to be prepared for uh, the very strong possibility that what you would like to happen is not going to happen. Um, all of these factors need to be part of the consideration of, you know, how do you approach law enforcement? How far do you go with regard to law enforcement? Um, at what point in terms of losses do you go to law enforcement? Uh, again, other factors can come into play here. Do you have insurance that requires you to go? to law enforcement at which point you know you have to decide okay are we going to eat the loss ourselves or do we go to the insurance company and have the insurance company say you've got to go to the police uh so you know and a number of factors here you can't just think you know oh we don't need to deal with investigation we don't need to consider investigation we'll just call the police if it ever happens no you know that's that way lies madness that way lies definite shocks um you want to uh be realistic be prepared uh for the most likely outcomes for these types of processes